Hi everyone, I'm here with our Associate Vicar, Dan Molest, and uh, Dan, um, I just wanted to ask you if you had any top tips for us, because when I've been speaking with people uh, recently since the MCO, what, what a lot of people are experiencing is that structure to life has sort of crumbled. You know, the days all merge into one, our workspace and our living space has merged into one. And without this structure, it's quite hard to manage our time and to feel like we're living effectively or efficiently. Do you have any top tips for us? Yeah, we've been talking a little bit about a team as about something known as a rule of life. Now, this is nothing new. Uh, it was probably invented by St. Benedict or some other monk back in the 5th century. And actually, they invented it as a way of working out how to live together when the rest of civilization was sort of falling apart. Um, and so uh, there's, well, not as bad as that, but there are some parallels. Now, there's a really good book uh, called The Common Rule uh, by Justin Early. And he he's taken this idea of a rule of life and he's made a really simple diagram which means you can uh, visually just draw it on your wall as a, as a really easy way uh, to think about all of this stuff and um, he says this is a, a really simple way of organizing your life first of all we are to love God and we are to love our neighbor uh, and then there's different actions, different spiritual disciplines. And often we think of those as just resisting things, you know, things like fasting. But actually, there are spiritual disciplines about embracing things, about embracing the good gifts that God gives us. So we start there. And then he says, well, you need to think about time because you can't do all things every day. And uh, so he says, well, we're going to start by thinking about what do we need to do daily. And then what do we need to do weekly? And um, we could do monthly, but I imagine most of us aren't really thinking that far ahead at the moment. Um, and then once you've got that, you can start to fill in the things that you want to do. So uh, let's start on the daily. Let's start with a, a loving God and uh, resisting activity. So for me, I've made it a practice of um, trying to read the Bible before any other content in the morning. So not going to WhatsApp, not going to Instagram, but I, and the way I do it is I just put Bible in one year on the audio whilst I'm feeding the kids. And I found that really helpful. Now, on the other side of loving God, but an embracing activity, um, there's a group of us. We meet every day at 6.30 in the evening uh, to do a prayer meeting on Zoom. You can join on that. Uh, it's on the front of the HDBB website. But I found that's a really great way of leaning into loving God at this time. So that's, uh, that's there. Um, a friend of mine was telling me on the loving your neighbor section down here and resisting he's been resisting sloth by making sure that he gets dressed every day uh, which is a way of loving those that he lives with um, so that's the kind of the things you can think about daily but what about weekly well um, Sabbath is a really obvious one. Um, I've put it here in the resisting because it's resisting consistent and constant work, which can be a real challenge when you're working from home and, uh, and the boundaries have been blurred, like Miles said. Uh, going diagonally opposite in our house, we've uh, to love our neighbour and to embrace. We've instituted fajita night that as a family, once a week, we sit down and we eat fajitas together and we make them. And uh, that's just been quite a fun way to make sure that we, we have fun as a family and we eat together and we have a chance to chat. Also, it's something to look forward to. Um, and then obviously on loving God and embracing, there's Sunday worship and there's connect groups, two uh, really simple practices that help you lean into loving God and, uh, and loving your neighbour as well, really, with the connect groups. Now, some people might say, well, does this sound a bit dull, having, uh, you know, a rule of life? Um, but the, the kind of thing is, the aim is not to have a great rule of life. The aim is to have a great life in Jesus and receive everything that he has for you. You can think of it as a bit like growing a vine. You put a trellis in and the trellis is straight and orderly so that the vine can be lively. Uh, and those lines are these different things that we're putting in place. And hopefully as you do it, you'll be challenged. There'll be things that are like, oh, actually, I could, I could step into that in this season. And hopefully also you'll be encouraged and you'll see that actually I, I'm doing a lot of these, but I hadn't quite noticed it. Now, if you have a bad day, don't worry. The next day you can just reset and carry on. Brilliant, Dan. That is so helpful. Thank you.